So I have an admin login page which I will brute force with Hydra to find the username and password. We will also crack the password hash from SSH private key. This is the brute CTF challenge from Try Hack Me. This is a well balanced room, perfect if you're a beginner. So I have started my machine and got my target IP. Since we deployed the machine, I'll mark this question as complete. The next task is reconnaissance. We have to search for open ports with nmap and find out how many ports are open. So I'll copy the IP, open my terminal and do a nmap scan with the command sudo nmap. I'll do an aggressive scan with dash a and paste the IP address. After the scanning is completed, I can see two ports are open, port 22 SSH and port 80 HTTP. So I'll answer two here. Next we need to find what version of SSH is running and what version of Apache is running. So under version, I can see this is the SSH version and this is the Apache version. For this question, which Linux distribution is running? I can see it is running Ubuntu. So this is the answer. Now we need to search for hidden directories on the web server. Since port 80 HTTP is running, I'll copy the IP and paste it on my browser. I can see we have a default Apache 2 web page running. To find hidden directories, we can use the tool GoBuster. So I'll copy the URL. In my terminal, type the command gobuster. Since I'm searching for directories, I'll type dir short for directories dash u for URL and paste my URL that I copied earlier and specify my word list with dash w and the path to my word list. Now gobuster is running. After my gobuster has run for a while, I can see we found the admin directory. So I'll copy this path and add it to my URL. And we have a login page where we have to find the username and password. So the answer to this question, what is the hidden directory? It is admin. For the next task, we need to find a shell. And the first question is, what is the username and password of the admin panel? So we need to find the username and the password here. So first let's check the page source to see if we can find some hidden information. And I can see there is an internal comment that says, Hey John, if you do not remember, the username is admin. So the username here is admin. We just need to find the password. We can try to see if brute forcing work and we can do this with Hydra. So in my terminal, I'll type the command Hydra dash lowercase l admin. I used lowercase l because I already know that the username is admin. If I specified a list, I would have typed capital L. Now since I do not know the password, it will be dash capital P and the path to my password list. I'll use the rockyou.txt. Next, we need to specify the IP of our target machine. So I'll copy this and paste it. I want to see each of the brute force attempt. That's why I'll do verbose. And since this is a post request, I'll type HTTP, post form, and in double quotation, first the path to the directory, the colon sign, the name of the field I'll brute force. So we can see for the username, the name of the field is user, and for password, the name of the field is pass. So user, the equal sign, the caret symbol, and user in capital letter. This is just a variable. This is taking the value admin, the and sign, pass, the equal sign, you can specify the password variable. This variable is taking this password word list, the rocky.txt file. Next, another colon and the error message we get when we type the wrong username and password. So let's try admin and admin. And I can see this is the error message, username or password invalid. So I'll copy this and paste it. And I'll start my brute force attack. I can see we are trying the username with all the passwords in the rocky.txt file. If the username and the password is correct, the brute force attack will stop. So after my brute force has run for a while, I can see we got the correct username and password. The username is admin and the password is Xavier. So I'll log in with the username admin and the password Xavier. And we could log in successfully. We also got a flag. So I'll copy this and paste it as the answer for the web flag. What is the username and the password of the admin panel? It is admin colon Xavier. Now we need to find the passphrase for John's RSA private key. So here in the message I can see, hello John, finish the development of the site and here is your RSA private key. So I'll click on this link. So I can see John's RSA private key. Let's save this in our machine. So I'll copy the link in my terminal, use the curl command and paste the link and save the output in id underscore RSA. I can now see we have the private key in my machine. Let's change the permission of this file with chmod 600 and the name of the file. If I try to SSH with this private key and the user John and the IP of my target machine, 
are you sure you want to continue connecting yes and as you can see it is asking for a passphrase but we do not know the passphrase yet so to crack the password of this file we can use the command ssh to john and the name of the file and save the hash output in a file called pass.hash now if i get pass.hash i can see we get a hash of the file id rsa now we can crack this hash with the command john the name of the hash file which is pass.hash and i'll specify my word list with dash dash word list the equal sign and the path to my word list i'm using the rocky.txt file again and the password hash has been cracked the passphrase is rock and roll so i'll copy this passphrase try to ssh again and when asked for a passphrase i'll paste rock and roll and we are logged in as the user john so the passphrase of john's rsa private key is rock and roll next we need to find the user.txt file so i'll cat user.txt and i can see this is the flag and for the last task we have to do privilege escalation we have to find the roots password and the root.txt file let's check if this user john can run any sudo command and to check this i'll type the command sudo space dash l i can see the user john can run the cat command with the roots permission so i'll type sudo bin cat and let's read the file etc shadow here we have the roots password hash i'll copy this in another tab create a file called root pass.txt and paste this save the file now that the file has been saved we can use john to crack this hash and the command is exactly the same as we used to crack the idrsa hash so john and the name of the file and specify my word list i'm using the file rocky.txt and i can see the hash has been cracked and the password is football so from the user john i'll switch to the root user when asked for a password i'll type football and i can see i'm the root user i'll cat root.txt i have to change to the root directory and cat root.txt and this is the flag i'll copy this and paste it here what is root's password it is football and we were correct so that is for the end of the video if you want to watch more ctf challenge then please subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching